This family of seven has been living from hand to mouth for the past decade. But their situation took a turn for the worse in August last year. Their father, who's the sole breadwinner of the family, was let go from his job as a cargo lorry driver. To make ends meet, Nurul Hisham Abu Saman cuts grass, picks coconuts and fixes electrical wiring to bring home at least 800 ringgit per month. Peluang level lori tipis lah, susah kan. Kalau kalau kita dapat uh, syarikat yang okey, kita boleh bertahan. Tapi kena kita dapat yang uh, syarikat yang kata bayar bayar trip, apa per trip tak apa. Kalau kata tiga trip dia bayar sekali, ha, itu membabitkan kita punya pendapatan lah. Bukan saya berhenti kerana gaji mula tidak. Tapi tak bekerja ni pertama kali ni. ni. Tak bekerja, uh, rumah tu sejak kabin. Saya tak pernah dapat biar. Saya lelaki kan, saya tak boleh menjawab kan. Tapi kata dah, saya cuba. Memang kita pula ada masalah. Kata, kan? Untuk untuk sekarang, kalau masalah anak, itu yang memeningkan kepala. Macam saya pula ada masalah. Masalah apa? Masalah kesihatan kan? yang membabitkan tentang emosi dan fikiran. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Nurul Hisham got into an accident while driving a lorry in 2010, which left him with nerve damage. His elder son, nine-year-old Muhammad Irfan, has been suffering from a thyroid condition for the past three years. The family cannot afford any medical treatment and still owe the hospital 10,000 ringgit from his first treatment. Their only option is traditional medicine, which helps soothe the pain. Nurul Hisham's wife, Farah Zihan Matsulaiman, says that while food supply has been sufficient, she hopes her children's well-being and living condition can be improved. Keperluan dari, dari segi makan, Alhamdulillah, uh, sederhana lah. Uh, dari segi uh, kewangan, biasalah. Kadang-kadang ujung bulan tu memang memang kata uh, teruk sikit lah kan, tak cukup. Tapi perbelanjaan sekolah lah macam hari-hari dia orang nak pergi sekolah tu macam duit tu kadang kita kita tak dapat bagilah. Sekarang ni saya menumpang sampai bila pun saya tak tahulah saya nak menumpang dekat rumah rumah mak saudara ni kan. Sebabnya tanah mak saudara suami punya. Ha. Ha, kalau boleh saya nak minta lah kalau macam ada orang yang boleh tolong kan ha, nak minta tempat tinggal lah untuk, untuk saya sekeluarga. To help with the finances, Farah Zihan works as a babysitter and a helper on weekdays. Her employer, Mazwin Hasim, allows her to bring along the couple's two youngest children. So, bila dia, dia kerja dengan saya, saya pun uh, tolak ansur, dia boleh bawa anak dekat sini. So, keadaan tu membuatkan dia boleh bekerja lah. Uh, so, dan suami dia pun uh, kerja sendiri. Uh, selalu jugalah saya suruh datang untuk uh, mesin rumput ke, tu kemas kawasan alamah rumah ke. Ha, kat situlah diorang dapat income. So far saya tengok diorang tak bekerja tu tak tak adalah berhenti. Asal ada job je memang dia ambil. Ha, dia susah tu bukan dia sengaja untuk susah. Ha, memang ada keadaan dia dengan anak-anak dia ramai. Lepas tu ada seorang yang tak sihat kan. Kita kena kuat lah kalau dalam keadaan kita sekarang ni. Macam saya, saya boleh usaha lagi, saya boleh kerja lagi. Ha, ada orang lagi yang 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 lagi tak lagi susah daripada saya kan harapan anak-anak dapat sekolah ha, dia orang berjaya lah dalam sekolah dia akademik dia ha, walaupun saya susah kan ha, macam saya selalu cakap dengan dia kita usaha lah walaupun uh, kita susah, kita kena usaha. The family's annual Raya celebration has been very modest. But this year, a group of volunteers from the Sunway Group with help from Lembaga Zakat Selangor and Say Community brought some cheer. Farah Zihan's family is among 40 Asna families chosen to receive 400 ringgit worth of groceries and 200 ringgit duit raya donated by Sunway employees. 
Puan Sri Latifah Kamarudin, the wife of Sunway Group Deputy Chairman Tan Sri Razman Hashim, made a surprise visit and had iftar with the families. The buka puasa meal was provided by Sunway Hotel Resort and Spa. Every year we do this uh, program called uh, Festive Cheer. So for Raya, we did uh, work with Zakat Slango. These are the poorest of the poor families. And uh, we were quite curious because we have not done this before. So this is a pilot project. And they told us to do our due diligence, which we did. And we felt that uh, uh, this is a project that we are able to bring our people closer to the community and see how the community lives. Yesterday was the first day, so the volunteers who went spread the news and this year we had double the volunteers who volunteered to come because they wanted to see for themselves. So I'm glad that we achieved the objectives of actually uh, for some volunteers to actually open their eyes and be grateful for whatever they have in life. Farah Zihan expressed gratitude that her family would be able to celebrate Hari Raya like other families. Perasaan gembira, bersyukur hmm, sebab datang um, lawat hmm, saya dengan keluarga lah. Hmm, syukur Alhamdulillah lah. Sebab dapat ringankan beban keluarga kan. Hmm, hmm, dapat dengan ada barang ni, kita orang dapat beraya dengan gembira lah. <laughs>